Good morning, Max. Hi, buddy. So this video is about home modifications, the way we've set up our home to accommodate Max and all his activities. And this is Max's room. Here's his bed, which we've put up on risers. He has his angel arm sitting there. Right here is his tower with all the machines that he uses. Behind the tower is a cart with some backup machines uh, that we have. And then over on this side of the room are bookshelves holding books and toys. We try to use mirrors around the home wherever we can so that Max has maximum visibility of everything going around or going on around him. There's some additional toys, decorations. Here's his dresser and a bunch of supplies that we've organized. And that's Max's room. All right, Max, you ready to keep going with our whirlwind tour? All right. Oh, hi, Max. So this is the room we call Max's gym. We've set up a universal exercise unit that we got on loan from one of Max's physical therapists. The UEU allows us to suspend slings and swings and bungees and all sorts of exercise equipment to accommodate Max's physical therapy needs. And we've hung all sorts of toys and devices and things around the UEU. We also use the top as a storage place for all the extra things that uh, wow. tend to crop up and accumulate like that we use on a semi-regular basis. And here you can see Max uh, getting his groove on. If we got snow, we could make snow angels. Yeah. That'd be really cool. Alrighty. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're headed out to the living room. This is Max in his standard. We set it up in our living room so that it would be in the middle of our living space where there's always plenty of action going on and we actually got rid of one of our sofas and sort of reorganized our living space to make room so that Max's uh, stander and other devices could be part of the flow. We also wanted to prepare the way for a power wheelchair when that comes through and so we've looked into ways to make sure that there aren't a lot of obstacles or sort of obstacle course type layouts that Max will have to expend extra time navigating. We're also planning to knock down the wall between our dining room and our kitchen so that instead of having to navigate his power wheelchair through a doorway, there'll be an open flow for Max between the rooms. Now we're headed on to the back patio. This ramp was generously provided for us by a contractor friend of ours who made it so that we could easily wheel Max's wheelchair out onto the back patio. And we love to spend time outside. This really makes it possible. And here is another loaner that we have, a spa in a box that we borrowed from a friend of ours who generously loaned it to us. This allows us to do aquatic therapy at home Max loves to be in the pool um, because the buoyancy allows him extra movement and he also can move his arms and legs while in the upright position uh, without having to work as hard to breathe. So we try to go into the hot tub as much as possible. Now we're headed back into the house to see our bathroom space, which is where we usually end up after a hot tub session. This is the bathroom that's closest to Max's room. It's a bit of a tight space, as you can see, really cramped. We do have a bath chair that if one of us isn't in the tub with Max that he'll lie on. But uh, it's, as you can see, the his tower just barely fits crammed in here. We're looking to replace the sink with a smaller 
form factor sink so that the tower will have a little bit more room for that and for people. But it's a tight squeeze and we have a tough time fitting more than uh, one or two people in there, which can be challenging when you have a nurse. And it's also difficult to take Max in and out of the tub. This red therapy table is called a plinth. It came with the same set as the UEU in Max's gym. It's an adjustable height table and Max loves to lie on it. We put him on it during meals or uh, during regular life stuff. And you can see Max's legs are in his angel leg device. And the plinth rolls from room to room so we can put it in the living room, dining room, or in the kitchen. We also put in a path with the help of a lot of our friends and supporters who donated through a GoFundMe to raise the funds to install this wheelchair accessible path. It's graded to make it easy to move Max's fairly heavy adaptive wheelchair stroller down and load him into the van. And we got a wheelchair accessible van so that taking Max out could be a relatively smooth and also safe procedure. Having the path and the van have made going out so much easier and it helped us to take Max on a bunch of fun trips this summer. That's how we have made our space very uh, conducive to Max's routines.